Over the next few years, Janetta worked small jobs and had a second son named Jaleel. There were men in her life, but the relationships didn't last. There have been times it's that you go there, you have flashbacks, you know? And somebody ripping something off of you, and do you know how ugly and nasty and degraded that makes you feel? It's not a pretty picture, you know? And it's not fair to the person who loves you and the person who's reaching out to you. In her mid-20s, Janetta confronted her mother about the years of abuse. I gave her detail after detail. She couldn't sit there and listen. She, no, 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 I'm your mother. You can't talk to me this way. You're not going to talk to me this way. And she would leave. And this happened for years. I didn't know these things was going on. They never showed no signs that they were being abused. They never came to me and said anything. They never acted in any kind of way strange. She was in denial of everything. Why a parent supposed to be a parent, a mother supposed to be there for her child, to protect her child. My mom was in so much denial because she wasn't a parent to be there to protect us. And it hurt it. And it hurt her so bad she wasn't there to protect us. While Sonia remained stuck in anger, Janetta moved on. After months of studying, she took the GED test. But I missed it by one point. And thank God I went back the next day, the next week, and we took it. And I was the only one there out of 30 students. I was the only one that showed back that day. And I think even then, a part of my life is that I wanted something. By the time she turned 30, Janetta had an awakening. I looked at my boys and I said, are they going to be a rapist? Are they going to molest their kids? Because at that time, I realized every man in my family that I knew had touched me inappropriately. So I knew then that, that was, it was a, this is a cycle. And I said to myself, I'm going to break this cycle. Didn't know at that time, never heard about a cycle. Just knew that I was in one. Knew that I didn't want to continue to be like my mother. And knew that I didn't want my two male boys to grow up and be a statistic. They want them to be in jail. They want them on the corner selling dope. They want them to get caught up and somebody offer them dope and say, hey, you know, sell this and bring me your money. I didn't want that. I didn't want them to be, to be looked down upon. I didn't want them to be shame of me. I owed them something else. Janetta decided to leave Birmingham. She told her sons they were moving to Atlanta. My 12-year-old said to me, I'm ready to go. And he was 12. And I feel so bad because he had to grow up. At 12, he had to take on so much responsibility because I had a five-year-old. Even at a young age, Rashad understood the legacy of abuse in his family. I looked at these families who, like, everyone's died in the family or they've been robbers and killers and rapers, and it goes on from generation to generation. It never stops, it never stops to keep going. And that's how my family was looking. <laughs> Especially with the males in our family. So I figured right then and there, I think I was in probably middle school, probably going to high school. I just figured right then, right there, that I would guess I'd burn the weight and I would, it was, I had to stop it because I couldn't let, I didn't want to see my brother like that. And I didn't want to end up like that myself, but worse, I didn't want to see my brother like that. With no contacts and little money, Janetta and her two sons moved to Atlanta. I didn't have a job. I didn't have, I didn't have anything. But I know one thing. I was leaving somewhere, and I was coming somewhere better. And I said to myself, I get a chance to be anybody I want to be. You know, who knows me? Armed with her GED, Janetta was accepted at Kennesaw State University, northwest of Atlanta. I went to, I went to Kennesaw, and I walked into missions, and I can never forget the feeling. The feeling of a new day. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to learn something. Jan Phillips was Janetta's academic advisor and counselor. 
take. Okay. All right. And you said you were in with Janetta going back to take the GED. She was saying, "I'm taking control of my life. I'm getting my education back." You know, this was stolen from me in childhood. I couldn't focus on that at that time. But now I have an opportunity to go back and get back what was taken away from me. You've done a lot of work in your coursework, and you're on real good uh, terms as far as the progress. There was the concern, would I be able to do this? And what she needed was the encouragement. I was afraid. I was afraid. Oh, my God, I'm 32 years old. I don't know anything. Is it those? Is it a lot of jobs in that field? And like she was very open and candid about what type of help she needed. And then I was, I was right. more than happy well, you know, to encourage her and say, you know, maybe you need to take this course because this may be a little easier on you right now. But at the same time, yes, you have the ability to be able to go and to do well. I didn't really know how to write. I didn't know how to write a paragraph. I didn't know how to use a subject and a verb. Simple eight parts of speech. I didn't know. Professor Leonard Witt was Janetta's writing teacher. Frankly, her writing wasn't very good. I, I still even remember kind of mentioning to my wife, you know, that I got a student in here. I'm not quite sure what to do. She's enthusiastic. She wants to work hard. But, you know, her writing needs some work. The, the subjects would be in the Went to the smartest people in my classroom and said, can you help me? I need help. And I studied and I worked hard and I went to school 16 to 18 hours a semester. In her particular case, she went to the writing center. We have a writing center here. She got a little help from that. I tried to give her as much help as I could. And incrementally, the writing started getting better and better. I gave up everything. I gave up dating. I gave up going out. I gave up friends. I gave up my life. And I dedicated it to school because I wanted to get that degree. I wanted my mother to see what I had achieved. I wanted my boys to see that this is obtainable. I'm on my way to the writing lab. While Janetta was finding her way in Atlanta, Sonia was still lost in Birmingham. I was stuck in time. I wasn't growing a knife. I was always being angry. I was trying to kill myself so much. I was giving up. There are times, in order for me to see my sister, I would have to armor myself. Because I would have to go down alleys, dope houses, anywhere to find her. When I got on drugs, my sister told me, when you get ready to clean your act up, she really clean your act up, I got a house and you got a room. You can come stay with me. But you got to be ready to clean your act up. There were times I found my sister under houses. There were times I found her in dope houses where she wouldn't even come to the door. I knew she was in there. There were times I had to leave notes and I had to say, just tell her I love her. Just tell her I love her. At Kennesaw State, Janetta shared her story with a few close friends. But the word got out. I dropped out of high school at 17. And I end up finding myself just talking people, and, and, and I got letters that people start writing me. When I start meeting these women coming to me, I don't love myself. I don't love me. I'm nobody. And I'm looking at them saying, now, you surely could love you if I love me. And then I realized what love was. I realized that I loved myself, and I realized other people saw it. I believe that what Janetta gained from her experience at Kennesaw State University was she built self-respect. She began to realize that she had a lot of gifts in a lot of different areas. In just three years, Janetta graduated with a degree in communications from Kennesaw State University. The value of education for Janetta is a life change, not only socioeconomically, but emotionally, because what it does is it lifts, or it has lifted her up out of where she was before. And she saw that as a way to put the past behind her so she could build a better future and a much more comfortable life. That was one of the greatest experiences in my life, was Kennesaw State. 